I ask you the question. Who is correct? The Hanafi Maslak or the Shafi Maslak? The Shafi Maslak. Simple. What matches with the Quran and Sahih Hadith? You follow that. Simple. Now, come to the question. The first question that does the wudu break or not when a person accidentally if a man accidentally touches a woman or a woman touches a man imagine if a non-muslim who accepts islam and he asks me brother zakir if a woman touches me accidentally or if i touch a woman accidentally when i'm in wudu am i yet in the state of wudu or not does my wudu break or not so will i ask him that is your father Hanif or Shafi? See, his father was a non-Muslim. So my answer should be based on Quran and Sahih Hadith. And when we analyze the Quran and Sahih Hadith, we come to know that the wudu does not break. So irrespective whether you come from any background, unless someone comes and tells me, see brother Zakir, you know that the Hanafis have got some oil in their skin and the Shafi don't have oil, therefore the Hanafi the wudu doesn't break and the shafi breaks if someone gives me some scientific reason then maybe i'll have to think over it but there's no such thing that the skin of the hanifi is different and the skin of the shafi is different you have to go back to allah and his rasul and when we do research in the quran and sahih hadith we get the answer again somebody may ask me in the second question that saying amin loudly imam shafi is correct and None of you must like not to say Amin loudly. Do you mean to say Abu Hanifa was wrong? Didn't he have knowledge? No, Spiller. Imam Abu Hanifa, may Allah's mercy be on him. Rahimahullah. He was a great scholar. We love him, we respect him. But not that he made a mistake purposefully. Maybe these hadith which I quoted of Sai Bukhari, volume number one. Hadith number 781 to 782 and the Hadith of Sahih Muslim, volume number 1, Hadith number 811 to 816, this may not have reached him. As I told you earlier, that when the Prophet was alive, the Quran was complete. It was compiled in the supervision of the Prophet himself. He himself supervised. The Quran, Alhamdulillah, was complete. And there is no difference of opinion as far as the Quran is concerned. But the Prophet did not encourage to write down the hadiths, his sayings, lest it would get mixed up. Later on, after his death, when people started saying things in the name of the Prophet, which he did not say, then the people thought, fine, now we should check up whether did the Prophet say this or not. So the compilation of the hadith started after the death of the Prophet. And during the time of these great ayamas, Imam Abu Hanifa, Imam Malik, Imam Shafi, Imam Ahmed bin Imam Hanbal, may Allah's mercy be on all of them. It was yet continuing. It wasn't completed. Later on, Imam Bukhari came, then Imam Muslim came, Abu Dao, Tirmidhi, and then later on, after the demise of the four great Ayamas, the process was more formulated. So therefore, based on whatever was the knowledge they had, they gave the opinion. Somebody will ask me, Brother Zakir, do you think you're more intelligent than Abu Hanifa? Brother Zakir, do you think you're more intelligent than Imam Shafi? May Allah's mercy be on both of them. I said no. Nothing. Compared to them, we are nothing. They were far closer to the Prophet. The knowledge? MashaAllah. The Iman? We cannot compare. No one living now can compare to them. But, we have to realize, as I mentioned, that the process of compilation of the hadith was going on. So all the four Aimma said, no Muslim can say that he, has, he knows all the Sahih Hadith. So because today is the age of science and technology. Now if today, at that time, during the Aimma, if you want to, if you want to collect a hadith, you have to travel hundreds of kilometers, thousands of kilometers. You have to write down, there was no Xerox machine. Today, Xerox is there, fax is there, email is there. From this end of the world to America, you can fax. You can send my email. Within seconds, it reaches there. That time, science and technology had not advanced. Today, 
if you want all the Sahih Hadith, you can have on a disc. The complete Bukhari you can have on a disc. Bukhari, Muslim, in IRF, one million Hadith on one disc. Classified, Sahih, Zaif, Maudu. So today, because of science and technology advance, the access for us to the Hadith is much more easier as compared to these great scholars.